there's a knowing that when you get on that stage, you own the stage. You want to be up there and project the image of that song so that the audience is captivated. And so it's really teaching them, teaching them how to own who they are, to shine, and to project that so that the audience gets it. And it's, it's a very hands-on type of training. I mean, it's not like, here's an assignment, go home and do it, and come back and do it. You're working with them, showing them, giving examples, like a director coming and showing how an actor, an actor or an actress this is how you play that part, and this is how you do it. And when you express this emotion, you do that. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't know. They have a problem owning it, mm -hmm. like we talked about earlier. So your school is going to take the form of workshops? It's going to take the form of workshops. We have, um, this was like, put my, my glasses Yeah, on. what would we see in a typical workshop? Well, this was a flyer that I had um, back in the day and um, become a star you know you are is was always my slogan and it seems to fit it does fit with yeah. your with exactly what you're teaching it that does. everybody is a star everybody's you just a star you have to know how to uncover it everybody is a star and you just got to you've got to know that and that's why in everyday star productions got its right. name it's we're like all everyday stars we just shining is natural there's nothing wrong with shining there's nothing wrong with shining and being the brightest star you can be but you don't want to get mad at the other star for shining brighter. We got to shine and be the star we are. Be that. If we be the star we are, then we're going to do our part in the universe. Period. And so, you know, and that's um, that's a lot of it. It's just teaching teaching that. But, um, gosh, um, producing, developing, promoting. So um, you do cover some of the business aspects. Oh, promotion. yeah. Promotion. Yeah. Absolutely. I do the, you know, special events, the promotions, all of it. I mean, it's, um, this just says, uh, I'm just doing this right now because you'll have to cut that out. I can't get now I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> ah, what this says is, you know, Renee King is now providing a private curriculum that encompasses all aspects of performance, whether you are a novice or a professional Renee's proven techniques are designed to bring out and enhance your own natural talents and potential. Become that dynamic and self-confident star performer you've always wanted to be. And, um, anyway, that's just a little, a little flyer, a little history of the flyer. I've got, um, and see, some, this is some of the artwork. So cute. Some of the artwork that... Now, is uh, this artwork done by, by different students. age students? or yeah. all, Okay. By different students. I mean, these are... This is... This is amazing, you know, because I, I kept... I don't know why I kept all this. I really don't. Except that maybe this is why, right? Um, but it looks like this would be something you would see. I can't do that because I can't see it. I know. But. I mean, I can't see what I'm doing if I do that. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Now... This was this was uh, Bobby's project, Bobby Emerson, our lovely Bobby, and I love this one because I mean, look how look how much detail is in that. Mm -hmm. Is that not cool? And what was the assignment? What was the assignment? Oh my gosh! I knew you were going to ask me that. I don't <laughs> have it on here. I'd have to pull out my. Uh, this, this assignment, I think this was on uh, being all, what all you were here to do in your life as a mm -hmm. performer. Was, this is what all you were here to do. What all you've been and what all you were here to do. Well, that looks like Bobby because she mm -hmm. does so much. She's such yeah. a developed musician, vocalist. And, <laughs> and she got up on stage and explained this. Okay. And it's all captured in video. That's what's amazing, is that she knew what she was doing. I and like the, this thing. What's that? <laughs> I don't know. What'd you point at? <laughs> the little squiggly thing that looks like a worm. This? Go go to the left. This? No, next to that down. down. Oh, this! <laughs> what is that? Is that a musical vortex? Three dog, yeah, that's the, that's the tornado. Oh, okay. Because we were doing those exercises. 
That's her tornado. Isn't that cute? That is very good. That I is so it. funny. Three dog night, CCR. Oh my goodness. So cute. That's pretty wow. cool that you kept all that. Have you showed it to her lately? I don't think so. I haven't. I don't think I have. You should. We should take a picture of it and put it up on Facebook and see if she noticed Oh my it. God. <laughs> really? This one was so dark. And look at this. Money. This was about fear. This was about fear. I remember this. And he was afraid. Uh, the, and the, the assignment was, what are, you, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? It had something to do with the fear. And money, darkness closing in. That's the Grim Reaper. And that's him over there scared to death. Aww. This is done by mail? Mm hmm Yeah, he's 12 years old. And... And then I had something him do something on the opposite end of that. I said, well, what would you want instead? Instead of this, instead of living this picture and projecting this, what would you want to do different? And he didn't do much, but he did open and free. Aww. And I said, okay, so now then what we're going to do is get on that stage. And instead of projecting this, we're going to project open and free. What does open and free look like? What does that look like? And do you know, it was amazing to watch. It was just, because he had something to move from. Instead of the fears owning him, it's, they were owning him. And as soon as he got it, even though it wasn't very much, it was, I mean, that Grim Reaper said it all. He was scared to death. Open and free. There he is. And he was, he really, really did good. That's awesome. Yeah, and, um... Because most people would not sit down and think of that on their own. They you won't know? think of it. And relate it to performance and art. That's exactly you know? right. And that's <clears throat> Everybody always wants to separate all that, and it's not. It's it's all one big thing. <laughs> it's all, and, it, and it's... And I do not know another school of thought that is like this. Um, because it really develops them organically. So that they can mm -hmm. really... Be the tree. Be the tornado. If, they, if they're able to be that organic, um, become an artist organically, then everything matters. Everything. Um, the fire stays on but won't let itself free out for it is timid and scared. It shines brightly but inside it is scared. It stays straight. This was an assignment on the element of fire. And I had, um, I was having all of them draw the fire in there, the flame. What was their burning what did their burning desire look like? And and this was this was theirs. And then they had to write about it. And this one said, the fire stays on but won't let itself free out very far. It is timid and scared. It shines brightly, but inside it is scared. It stays straight on what is that what it is on. And I asked them what they meant by that. It stays straight on what it is on. And what they said was, instead of really consuming them, they were not able to um, really be the fire because it was closed in. See, this is a very contained fire. Uh -huh. And then others were like bonfires. <laughs> you know? And, you know, so, and so then... We would do other exercises to broaden their flames, to, you know, get their fire burning. These were, uh, this is an example of feelings. Uh, I had them do an entire exercise on writing every feeling they could think of that they feel. And you got things like excited, loneliness, scared, tired, anxious, angry, joyous, depressed, bossy, jealousy, whimsical, bubbly, hypey, honesty, passionate, nasty, rude, sexy. Intimidated, creative. I mean, I mean, and, and I wouldn't let them stop. They'd try to stop, and I'd say, no, keep going. you got to do this for 15 minutes. Wow. you got to think of feelings. Because a lot of people are either mad, tired, oh, I'm okay. If you don't know what you're feeling, you can't feel the song. If you don't know how you're feeling when somebody cuts you off at the, you know, <laughs> on the highway... If you know you're just angry all the time, 
then how can you be anything else? So anger is going to come out. So how do we how do we just be you know um, annoyed? What does annoyed look like? What does frustrated look like? What does acceptance look like? And so I would have them get on the stage and act out these emotions. They would have to act them out. And then they would be given a song and say, okay, what emotions on your sheet are in this song? You made these emotions, you brought them out, now tell me what, the, what emotions are in that song. And now embrace those emotions. You know, and so it's, um, it's pretty powerful stuff, you know, and, mm -hmm. and, and to, to watch it, when I'm bitchy, I see bitchy on here. <laughs> Hilarious. Hilarious. To watch it unfold, to watch them just like a butterfly. Mm -hmm. you know. Here's one uh, little Erin. She is so wonder what happened to her. I should Facebook her. I had her, and then I, I would have them take one feeling and draw it. Draw the, She was drawing frustration here. Oh. And then when they get finished, they go on the stage with their piece of art. And they talk about why this is frustration. What, why she picked the colors that made this frustration. Why the yellows on the edges and the blacks in the center. All that matters. It's teaching the artist to get connected to every bit of who they are. 